Alright you guys, it's time to crock pot. Alright, so the things you will need to make this corned beef and cabbage um, crock pot meal is of course corned beef. I am using 3.21 pounds of corned beef. Oh, that's from Walmart. Um, this was $11.11. .11. You will need about 6 to 10, depending on how big your crock pot is, but of red potatoes. I think I only have six in here because I used up some from last night's dinner. And then you will need two cups of baby cut carrots. You will need a half of a cabbage head, um, but you're going to have to cut them up and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Also, some minced garlic. And I'm going to add this for extra seasoning, which is Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. Um, I got from Big Lots for two fifty. dollars woo Yeah, so, and then about eight cups of water. All right, you guys, come along with me. Okay, I have measured up two cups of the baby carrots. I'm just going to add them in here first. All right, so not like a whole lot. I might even add more later. I'm not sure. Depending on what it looks like after I put everything in. All right, next is the baby red potatoes. All right, so I rinsed them off and I'm gonna add them to it. All right, now I am going to add, um, I'm gonna stir this up and add the corned beef. All right, so I put the corned beef in there on top of the vegetables and then I put the seasoning that came with the corned beef. I don't know if all corned beef comes with seasoning, but the one I get from Walmart does. So I just sprinkled it on top of there now I'm going to add some garlic, some minced garlic. All right, I added one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic. Now I'm going to add some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning. Basically, I'm just going to eyeball it a little bit, just put a little bit here, a little bit there. I don't want it to be too overwhelming, so all right, I'll do that. And now I'm going to add, I believe it's going to be eight cups of water. I have to be able to cover the meat. All right, I added about um, 10 cups of water just because I have a pretty big crock pot. I believe it's a five or six quart. I'm not sure. My mom bought it for me, I think, for Christmas a few years back. Um, but yeah, so it's just like at the top of the brisket. Um... I just don't think I could put any more water in, <laughs> but um, I think it'll be fine. So now I'm going to put it on low for seven hours. All right, so this is what it is looking like right now. It's not done yet because it hasn't been the seven hours yet. Um, I actually put it on high because uh, I realized that in seven hours from when I started it, it would have been 7.30 and then I'd have to cook it for another hour or two with the cabbage so that would be too late to feed my kids dinner and I'd be already asleep so um I went on high for a little bit um and so here here's the cabbage I already took off the outer layer I just think I never cook with the outer layer I just take that piece off and now we just have to cut this in half all right now I will show you um how you need to cut this uh, before you put it in. Alright, so I cut them like this. Just to make it easier to put them in, find spots for them. I don't know if I'll be able to use all of this, but I hope I can. Alright, I will put them in now. But not until I rinse them down. Now I will start putting them in. Alright, so I put um, a bunch of it around, around the corned beef and then I sprinkled the rest of it on the top just so I can get all of that in there because I've got to have plenty of cabbage with the corned beef and cabbage. All right so now I'm going to set it. Let's see here. I'm going to keep it on high. I'm going to check it in. Let's see here. I'm going to check it at about seven o'clock. 
and right now it's 5:10, so I'm gonna set my timer for an hour and 90 or an hour and 90 minutes, an hour and 50 minutes, and then we will take a look and see how good it looks. All right, you guys, I um, I just made my dad a bowl, and yeah, it's done. I took the meat out, and it just fell apart so easily. Um, the meat is supposed to be this color, so don't worry. <laughs> um, I trimmed off excess fat, gross, and I did check the temperature. It was above 180 degrees, so if you have had a food handler's license before or something, or you might already know, a healthy temperature for meat is 160 plus. So, yeah. So, I am going to put some in a bowl for myself and I will show you. Dang, you guys, that looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in. Bon appetit! Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has helped you decide to make something nice for St. Patty's Day or just for any other day. Just because this is going to be so yummy, I just know it, and it was so quick and easy to make. Of course, slow cookers don't take, or they're pretty, they take a long time, but it's easy to just pop it in in the morning or in before noon, <laughs> so you just do low for seven hours, um, and then it'll be ready for dinner. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, you guys, bye now.